Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. What are we looking at today? Yes, I know you got a quick glimpse of it. It is a very, very sexy ZR 1400, or in America, the ZX14. Kawasaki's, oh, just beautiful bike from Kawasaki. This is the fourth one I've had. I think I've got two on my channel before where I changed the exhaust, a lovely blue one, and I've got a darker blue one, panniers, etc. Yeah, I don't like panniers. Now, what's wrong with this beautiful bike? Let's have a quick look around it. As in all my videos, I apologise for any crunching, but it's Millie who just likes crunching when I'm doing videos. Back to the bike. This is very pretty, but something stands out straight away. It is a beautiful red, blood red, and black colour, but these are not the original fairing panels. These are your cheap Chinese ones, uh, £360 off of eBay, so they're not the best, meaning that if you do push against these, they will crack, rather than the proper ABS ones that they seem to push in and don't crack. I do love the fins on here. Crash bungs, always handy, a must have to be honest with you when you've got a big bike like this. Original hand cans, I think we know what's going to happen with them. They're coming off. I'm in talks with a couple of people at present minute to see if I can get some exhaust. Just a little tad cheaper, but who knows. I don't want to go for the chrome stubbies or the other chrome ones. I'd like to go for a nice set. But then again, there's no sense in paying hundreds of pounds on a bike that you're never going to get the money back from. Let's keep looking around. As of a choice plate, it's a 2010 plate. Tyres on here are quite good, but the back tyre was reasonably flat. And the front tyre was, well, I didn't like riding it back to be honest with you. It was bittersweet. I like riding these big, powerful sort of muscle bikes, I really do. These are heavy bikes, but what you find is with this sort of bike, in low speed, you know, naught to five miles an hour, they can feel quite heavy. Once you pass that, I'll be totally honest with you, you'd never know. And you can hit little potholes, you don't get bounced around the road. So the weight is crucial, especially at high speeds that you can do. 186, I think some of these say. There are little things you can play with them with, but that's just a shocking amount of speed. Now there are some horrible things and some lovely things. So this bike has not been serviced or really on the road for the last four years. Um, clutch fluid was just under the limit. Brake fluid here looks like an old dirty beer. The rear brake is spongy, so that needs there. So all the hydraulic fluids need to come out here, clutch fluids, and be changed. How we did ride back water, negligible, it was under the limit. Um, the tyres, I say, were both low, but I got to the garage, the machine wasn't working. Fuel was nothing in there, a bit stale. And annoyingly, they had no super in the garage. I'm thinking, I'm not going to get to the next garage, I had to put that horrible, crappy E10 in there. However, it did ride back okay, except for a few little dinks and rattles. I think it was the fairings, I don't think they're on properly, um, so they were a bit weird. There's something here I hate, I've got to show you. Somebody put these horrible off the market bars on. I don't know why I did that. I think that's off the market as well. Um, I just really do not like them. They feel small as well. Oh, the colour's quite nice. It's, it's got a few little defects in it. The colour's quite nice. You can go to any site and find good specs for these. You know, 22 litre tank. Doesn't get you far. Some people say 120 miles out. Some of them 180 maximum. Um, and that's a quite a big tank when you think of the old pan Europeans and all, all them touring bikes, you know, you get a lot more out of them. Um, I've got on my channel a tri trophy and I got all the way, you know, to the Isle of Wight and back again. I think it was like a ridiculous amount of miles on that, 400 miles and a huge tank. You don't get this here because they've got so much speed. If you ride them sensibly, you are going to get there. You know, not a video maker, but they are a licensed one. I rode this back a bit tentative because I could feel it was really, really heavy. Um, it didn't like banking at all, and these really, once they go, they're beautiful bikes. But I was worried the front brake was squeaking. Four years not used. Um, there's some electrical problems. All the switches here have got like wrap tape, and they're not properly done. So I was worried this has actually had a crash, and it was at, back on mind all the time. I checked the logbook. Registration wasn't given when I got there. I, I looked at all the telltale places because what normally changed, they changed the handlebars, they changed the fairings, they changed the foot pegs, which had all been done on this bike. Rhythm exhaust, well, you can get them for £70, they could have been changed as well. But I did look at all the, the normal places on the, on the frame, little bendy bits, front here, they often snap when you go down because it jars you. 
I couldn't find anything to say this bike had been down the road. He even had the old panels and he had, oh bless him, he had a, a, a flimsy looking rack with a terrible back box. It, it was like a head. Uh, I said, you can keep them. <laughs> I don't want them. And the original fairings, I thought, I've got enough rubbish here. You know, um, I had to knock down the money because this needs a complete service. No service history, two bits of paper, logbook and MOT. I can see the mileage on the MOT saying it had only done a, a thousand miles in four years. And it's got 38 on it. Now, for a big, big engine like this, 38,000 is nothing. It'll do 60, if not more, all day long. But the servicing is important. Now, valves, I can't do valves. I suppose, really, if I got down to it, I could, but I don't like doing them. You know, you get it wrong and you can cause some problems. So I don't like doing them. But, however, what's going to happen to this bike? Everything's coming off. He did it in his garage, minimal tools. I don't like that. I want every panel off. I'm then going to, now, what I do suffer from is all the brackets and hinges and bits and bobs that hold of it on. They get water in them, it stays in there, and it just rusts. So everything's going to come off this bike in the next video. It is going to have a complete service, except the valves, which I'm going to have to bite the bullet and stick it into a shop for them, because I just, as I said, I don't like doing them. Everything off, everything cleaned up, all the brackets and everywhere else, I'm going to rust proof them and paint them back up again, because I want this to last. A little haggle with an exhaust, so there'll be an exhaust video coming up. There'll be a full service one of this coming up. See what nitty gritty bits. All the electrics, I've got some of the old uh, shrink heat proof stuff that you heat on. I'm going to take the crappy tape off and I'm going to do them properly. I am an all weather rider, so what I don't want is water aggressing when it's in the crap weather that we ride with now. It's got lots of little bit. Oh, hang on, man. Ugh. <laughs> that works. That's a USB. Um, obviously, um, for the fun bit here, so that, I'm surprised that jumped on then. Battery off, charge that. I don't know what to do with these bars, if I'm honest with you. Oh, so I just don't like them. Maybe someone does. I say I don't think none of this is original, but I just, oh, I just don't like them. Can you see how low that is there? And that's just dirty. And he said the back brake is doing not a lot. So that all needs bleeding as well. But I did all check all the points. That is a pyramid rear hanger. No, oh, it protects the water from splashing right up. Doesn't feel right, it's really, really wobbly. I did get another one with it. I left them all the other panels. I did check these out because they've been changed. I'm thinking, you know, normally they go as well. But there's no damage to these whatsoever. That's what makes you think it hadn't been down the road. On the rear, this damage is done by the back box. Oh, it was horrid. And he couldn't figure out this bit. Well, it's for a pillion rider. To be honest with you, I'm not going to pillion ride. I feel it looks not nice. So that's coming off, that's coming off, and that will then sit nicely there. You can get the old single seats as well for this. But I'm going to leave it on there, just in case I do want to put someone on the back. Um, brakes and pads all passed. This shows it just passed an MOT. But I said they've got to come off. Um, does sound nice. I'll start it. It is nice having this phone cage, because I do have my phone with me, it'd be nice to put it on there, sat nav, and be able to plug it in as well, that's quite nice, I like the fact it's got an off switch here as well. Um, here we go, dog, mind the noise, I've got a lovely deep groan these have. ABS version, because the ABS light's on, as soon as you move away that goes off. Headlights, I'm going to LED them, and LED side lights. Now, I do know that there's a lot of controversy with, over here in England with the LED lights. So if your vehicle wasn't fitted with LED lights, it will fail the MOT. Depending on your MOT station, if you go to like Alfords and all the uh, top quality ones, guarantee you fail it, and they will find the most obscure things, especially with cars like... Um, Oh, what do they call him? <laughs> My daughter just put a car in front of OT. Radial tyres not matching, oil on the sump, oil on the box, degradation, and they used all these big... Anyone, anyone buying that car would see a list this, this, this long of all the things you've got to monitor and change and else. It turned out it had two LED bulbs. And he found it for the wrong direction, the LED bulbs, they were a correct pattern. When actually, I, I changed them and I redid the pattern. And they had a line. They had a pattern, they weren't just the glaring ones in the sun, and there were projector bulbs in them as well, like this is. 
mental. But I am going to change them because it makes the whole bike look a lot newer. I know it's still the old shape, being a template. Um, it's not the bigger light version. But these are just, say, beautiful, beautiful bikes. I've got your standard 120 and 190 on the back. Good tyres. Chain looks really good as well. This just needs going over, love and care, and a top quality service kit, which I've just brought. So Iridium plugs, quality filters. I'm not going for k &N. Quality oil. Fully synthetic, I'm going to use this in this because you do have to change this quite often to be honest with you because the power you can get from, you know, 62 silly speeds is very, very quick. But that's if you ride it that way. I'm not going to, honestly, <laughs> but it's there. Um, I find one of the complaints as well is filtering. Beautiful. I have more problems filtering my GS than this. Came home with it, even though the tyre's a bit crap. You know, I could still filter, still had the power to accelerate. So yes, my Tiger, uh, I'll keep it while I'm doing this up, and then this is gonna be my running bike. I, I like the Tiger, um, being a short ass, and this is what happened to me the other day. This is lowered, by the way. Um, I don't love that. It doesn't need to be lowered. I'm 5'7-ish, getting short every year. <laughs> it feels like it. Um, he, nor the MOT inspector, or anybody can get this on the stand. But as you'll notice, I got on the stand. There and here. Does take a bit of a lump though. But you can see there is a huge gap there. That shouldn't be like that. I'm gonna change these and put the original ones back on. Again, he didn't do it, but here they are, the links. On the trophy, everything had to come off and mess around. These are just really, really simple, so I am gonna do this. Um, on the next video, I'm servicing, sort the tires out, put the right correct pressure. You'll find out what was in them. I reckon, I reckon 12 maybe in the front, maybe 20 in the back, it felt really, it didn't feel good. <laughs> Change these, full service, really enjoy doing that, that's going to be a great video coming up, and obviously the exhaust wherever I buy. But this is going to go, um, 1050 tyre up for sale very soon, I've enjoyed it, but I came to set the traffic lights, I shuffled along, put my foot down, it was a bit of a funny camber, and I thought, oh, oh, you know, I'm still on tiptoes. Getting too old for that, being a short ass. Hence getting this yummy bike. Double bubble screen, tinted, very nice. Crash bungs, very nice. And that's sort of where it stops for the accessories. Oh, well, phone charger, etc. Um, yeah, yeah, you have to get green and black. Blue's nice. I've not had a red one before, so I thought, you know what I mean, bugger it, I'm going to go for this. Because uh, it started really, really well. Especially not rode in four years, got me home very well, except for the tyres. So, what's your bets? Annoyingly, I have got the uh, tyre pressure one I could bring, I just didn't think, you know. Um, very short description, immaculate bike. Um, and it was hard because I, I sort of did want to walk away. I never like taking the piss out of people with prices. Um, I've got it for a nice little song, and I'm going to put a bit of money back in this. So when I'm finished, it will look great. Probably cost what it should cost, and if I do sell it, you know, I'm not going to make no one on it. I just really enjoy doing it. So, what's your... Gambles for tyre pressure, 12 to 15, 20, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much, please like, share and subscribe, keep up with me with this one, there'll be a couple of free videos coming, and then I've got, yeah, I'm going to do a transporter and I'll do the probe as well, and uh, see how we go. Right, I am quite excited when I get off it now, I'm probably going to take all the panels off after this video, just get to it. Right, love and leave you, take care of yourselves, please like, share and subscribe, and goodbye. I left this on the floor um, just because it's sometimes nice for her to take a little nibble along with other bones and stuff. And then she decided to sit here and sulk. Why are you sulking? Why? Yeah. It's nice having. It is nice having uh, the phone cable. It is nice having a phone crate.